That was just a quick look at our muscle slings, or we call them subsystems I was talking about, and how they apply to running. All right, so when we're talking about running or walking or whatever, we have muscles on each side of the body that help to produce the action of flexing one, one leg in the opposite arm, extending one leg in the opposite arm. So they help to keep us symmetrical. They cross the body in diagonal fashions to help to develop more force, okay, so they kind of act as like a counterbalance um, against one another. So when we're looking at the front side of our body, we have the anterior oblique subsystem. We have the adductor to the opposite sided oblique, okay, so they help to do this. All right, and what ends up happening is, you know, oftentimes one of those will get more stiff than the other. One of them will be doing more work due to whatever reason, you know, and we start to get strains or just mechanical inefficiencies. On the back side, we have extension of one leg an extension of the opposite arm. So that would be the lat, which is the major extender on one side, and the glute on the other side. And again, we're kind of looking at, you know, in that relationship, is one doing the job versus the other. Our final one would be the lateral subsystem. And this is just the muscles on the side of my hip, as well as my opposite side of what we call our quadratus lumborum, which is a, um, a lumbar muscle to help to just keep us symmetrical there, kind of acting as guide wires to make sure I have hip stability. What you'll often see when you don't have this is you'll side bend, okay? You're, you don't have the ability for your hips to just keep you centrated here, you know, so that happens instead. And really, you know, it's not a, it's not a matter of like learning all of the muscles, it doesn't really matter. What I would look at is really where we feel tension, okay? One thing that we have all of our clients do is foam roll um, before the workout because, and hit all of these areas because oftentimes one will get overactive and that's a really good suggestion is just kind of looking at um, releasing, you know, the releasing everything so we become symmetrical and really working more um, on places where we feel more tension. But if we're looking at one relationship in particular, you know, we can take, say, the anterior oblique subsystem. Okay, we know it does this, you know, and oftentimes the adductor or the external oblique um, is going to be doing more work in that situation. Um, ones that one end up getting, ends up getting strained or we start to get injuries in that place, you know, as a result. And so what we can do if we find that that is the issue, you know, if we're getting strains on our front side of our body, you know, we just kind of correlate um, which subsystem is involved and we palpate in those areas. Like I could take a foam roller or a ball, you know, press into that area, even tell your massage therapist to work on those areas, bring in um, an illustration of subsystems that I gave you that I included in the article, you know, and you can really start to make some progress with that. But that's a good general suggestion, um, something that I like to do, I find to be beneficial with both my athletes and myself um, to just optimize proper, um, you know, alignment and form for running.